didn't know it was Friday. It is Friday. I, I got it. It's Friday. <laughs> because we're in L.A. and I don't know where I am. Jet lag. Beverly Hills. Yes, with Leslie, our favorite person in the whole wide world. Oh, I love this woman. And I did the blue hair just for her, and she hates it. <laughs> I like it with the earrings, though. I think it's good. The earrings, I'm out of the frame. Oh, i got to lean into you. <laughs> I want it back in your <laughs> armpit. That was that was nice. <laughs> Ooh, it's nice and warm. We look L.A., don't we? We do look L.A. out. And tomorrow's the big day, the big party. <gasps> oh, it's my West Coast family. These are my dear friends that I've worked with over the years. They're... All of them are in the sex industry business in one form or another. And what I realized today when we were talking about who all sh this. showing up is that <laughs> we've got, for this party, the most extraordinary perverts on the planet. Wouldn't it's going to be so much fun. I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> and it's going to be now 40 people, not 10, a little, you know, a little intimate dinner. And it keeps growing by the, <laughs> by the moment. <laughs> So it's all about the love picture exhibition this week. Oh, I forgot that's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. And it's interesting because you're turning 80, we're releasing this portion, and that was really kind of your foray into the next phase of your life. Moving from fine art to sexology. Well, after the love picture exhibition, that was, yeah, that's, I, I had drawings of heterosexuals making love, very modest, in this art gallery, and there was some, there, the, the, the gallery director sat there with the little machine, Clicking off all the people as they came in. So how many people came in? Eight thousand people <gasps> attended that. Oh my God! It was like it was the show of the year, and it got a little bit of publicity, not a lot, mm -hmm. and it was scary because it was like, oh, they're doing well. You're in it. You were the nude in the. the I, people never. Knew. I was. No one put that together. No. Are you kidding? I was terrified because I was my model. So not then only you are I'm, nude on the wall having sex with your boyfriend. <laughs> several. It was three different boyfriends. Oh, good for you. Yes, it, yeah. I didn't just do it with the same one. So, models, they were, I considered them my models. <laughs> no, it was only two, Roy, Roy and Roy. Anyway, I was, I didn't think about it until right before the, you know, the exhibition, like everything else I do, I'm in it and I'm doing it, and then all of a sudden I go, <gasps> oh my God. Oh, oh uh, uh, <laughs> and it was like, I got there, I got to the gallery, and it was like, the, it was just crazy crammed and people were so exhilarated and excited to see quality beautiful fine art of sex fine yeah. art sex on the walls in a madison avenue gallery and so what they did was they thought that because i had drawn sex i was an expert oh i see so that's how you made the the leap. transition they were asking me all of these questions about sex and i kept, and i kept saying well i am no expert and then i listened to their questions for the my God, like, maybe I do know something. About well, this. I had gone through the sexual revolution. I'd had, you know, group, group sex, sex experience. I had thrown mm -hmm. my own parties. Uh, you know, I had been a feminist. It was like, I knew a lot. I knew a you lot. You didn't know what you knew. I didn't know what I knew until Isn't I started. And, yes, I started answering their questions. And so I said, I'm forget it. I'm going to. Yes, you ask me a question, I will answer. And the show was a raving, roaring success. And uh, I had a wonderful time. And it introduced me to the jet set and, you know, you know, Europe, abroad. And so I became the darling of the jet set, traveling all over Europe, going, very to, nice. going to all of the very best sex parties. And it was, I mean, I look, it's an amazing thing, really. I don't have a feeling that I missed anything. I don't go, oh, I should have, oh, I don't know why I didn't, blah, blah. No so regrets. many people, yeah, no regrets, no regrets. And I, what I do want to do now in, at this stage of my life is I want to have more appreciation for, for what I've accomplished. You should, because I you're a rock star. I'm a sex rock star. That, that's, I think, why I, I lost <laughs> why control. <laughs> Let AdamEve.com spice up your routine. Right now, you'll save 50% on one item when you enter the offer code POD10 at checkout. So go to AdamEve.com and add some spice to your life.